All right, we're talking about settling the Northwest Territory. All right, so now we've we've created a state. Ohio, 1803, becomes a state. We're getting over to that Northwest Territory, and we're now we're starting to settle it down. We're, and we're we're getting 60,000 people and 5,000 men and a legislature and a constitution, all the things you need to, to, to before you can form a state, right? We're settling the Northwest Territory. In her journal, Margaret Van Horn Dwight described her journey in Ohio. We have come over two mountains today. I have walked about eight miles today. I am so tired I can neither think nor write. The big picture. In the Northwest Ordinance, people opened the Northwest Territory for settlement. Look at the map on page 103 to see some of the routes people followed. Some followed Lake Erie water routes. Most crossed the Appalachian Mountains. Over rough, muddy roads, people traveled by horseback or in wagons. Many simply walked. Daniel Boone, a scout, helped mark the wilderness road through the Appalachian Mountains that led some settlers westward. Even so, getting here was not easy for the pioneers. Pioneers are people who settle on land that is new to them. The Ohio River made travel much easier. Men and women loaded their furniture, tools, food, and animals onto wooden rafts with low sides. Then they steered these flat boats down the river with the long wooden oars. Once the settlers landed in the Northwest Territory, the real adventure began. All right, so you have a couple of different things here, man. You have pioneers, Daniel Boone, and flatboats. I'm really going to have you focus in on the vocabulary. So I'll get to that in a separate video. This is page 102, Tadero, out.